Hi friends, we're in the school garden today and we're going to do some separating of perennials. Perennials are those category of plants that come back every year. You don't have to start them from seed. They lay dormant in the soil over the winter time and then in the spring time as the weather is warming up, they come up again. So one of our perennials in our garden is this mint. And I wanna show you how we can separate them so that you can share it with a friend, give it as a gift, or just put it in another spot in your garden. So I'm going to transplant the mint into this smaller container. The first thing I'm gonna do is fill this container up about halfway with some good soil. Then I'm going to take my hand trowel and I'm going to find a part of the mint that looks like it has some space between where I can separate it. So I'm looking at this plant right here. If you could zoom in on this plant right here, it's a little separated from the rest. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my trowel in digging it about six inches in depth. Dig a circle around the plant that I want to uproot. Now under the soil, all of these plants are connected by roots. So you are going to have to separate the roots when you're transplanting like this. So I'm going to dig my trowel deep at about six inches and then start lifting up this one part of the plant. I'm getting my hands in there. Okay, you can see this one is coming up, but it's also attached to all these. So if my trowel can do it, I'm just going to break the root with my trowel. If your it did. If your trowel doesn't do it, you can get um, clippers and just clip it. Then with as much of the root intact, I'm going to place it into the new pot. As much of the soil and the root you can get to keep the plant comfortable in its new home. Okay, now it's similar to transplanting. We're going to take our soil and put it all around the base stem of the plant, of the mint plant. I'm going to push it down lightly. Don't pack it down too hard. Remember, it needs to have some oxygen in the soil, air flow through the soil. Packing it down and then adding a bit more. There we go. So, now the next thing I need to do is water this plant to the potting table and give it a nice drink of water. Remember that the, the plant needs water in its new home, but it also is a way for the, the roots to really lock in to their new home, lock into their new soil as that water dries, the roots comfortably grab onto that soil. Okay, let's go see what other perennial we can find in the garden and we can transplant that into another pot. Okay, the next perennial we are going to separate um, are the chives. The chives are in the onion family um, and they, they are tricky to separate. You have to go in and find a separation in, in and amongst all of the little chive plants and then just get in there with a shovel and go straight down. Yep, go straight down into the soil. There we go. And then go on the other side too. Yep. Do a circle around just like we did with the mint. Okay, so we've gotten. Um, deep down underneath the, um, the chive plant, down probably easily eight to 10 inches in the soil. This is a bigger plant. Um, and I have a container half filled with potting soil. I'm going to 
lift up. Yeah, this looks great. Lift up the shovel. You can see all the little um, roots right here. And we're going to place the chives into the new pot. And fill in around the base of the plant, covering up all of those roots. As I said earlier, this is a really nice way to share your garden plants with friends. Um, chives come back every single year and they come back a lot bigger than they were last year and sometimes they're taking up too much space in your garden and you need to remove them. That one is salad. So you can share them with neighbors and with friends. Okay, the chives are done. Let's go find one more. Okay, here we have another plant to transplant. This is actually not a perennial, but it self seeds. And by that, it's, oh, first of all, I'll tell you, it's cilantro. Um, we grew the cilantro in this pot last year. We let it go to seed, the seeds drop. They rest over winter time, they're dormant over the winter time, and then they germinate in the springtime. And we have another lovely container filled with cilantro. So I'm going to include this in and around, the cilantro in and around the chives in the container. So I'm going to try to find, this is a weed, we'll try to get rid of that as we go in. Try to find a single cilantro, dig deep underneath. There we go. And put it in with the chives. Also separating the plants because this is too many cilantro plants in one pot this will give the ones we leave behind a lot more space to grow nice and big let's find another one here's the cilantro's in the middle and these weeds will get out of there we don't need to transplant weeds. You can see the difference. Here's the weed. That's the pigweed. Pigweed. And there's the cilantro. It has a larger leaf. We'll do one more. <laughs> Several came in that one. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a little edible pot of chives and cilantro. Makes me want to make a burrito right now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the idea of um, separating perennials and um, sharing part of your garden with your neighbors and with your friends. And it's just a really generous thing to be able to do. I hope you're having a happy day and happy gardening.